Hello everyone and welcome to my video going over everything within the Reaper Bones Learn to Paint kit. And I recently wanted to get back into painting miniatures. I haven't painted miniatures since back in high school, back when I was playing Advanced Dungeons Dragons and painting pewter minis. So I thought the Reaper Bones kit would be the perfect thing to get me back into painting minis. Upon opening the kit here, you will see that there's this little leaflet, this pamphlet here, and it just goes over some painting techniques like base coats, washing, dry brushing, on all the individual miniatures that are contained within the kit. Right here you see the skeleton, there's also the orc and the fighter, and it just goes over all the techniques that you would use in order to paint all the miniatures. Here on the back you have all the paints that are available from MSP, all of the core colors. There's quite a few to choose from in case you're interested. All right, here moving on to the minis themselves. Here is the skeleton. It's a little bit thin. These are made of plastic, but with a little bit of boiling water you can reshape them into the form that they're supposed to be in. Here is the orc, and boy does that look nice. I was really doubtful of these Bones plastic minis, but upon seeing them and looking at them close up, they have just an amazing amount of detail, and I can't believe that I was a skeptic before because that orc looks amazing. Here is the fighter. You will notice that the sword is a little um, bent there, but then again, all you have to do is really put them in some boiling water for a few seconds, reshape that sword back to its normal straight self. And you can get a closer look at those later on in the video. Here, moving on to the colors themselves, we have some Harvest Brown, some shad Shadowed Stone, some Pure Black, and now Dirty Bone, which is just really a light tan. And here is Pure White, and Polished Silver. Leather Brown. I don't know why they use these crazy names. I guess they're a little bit more creative, though. <laughs> oh, here's one that is one of the Master Series. It is the Dragon Blue, which is incredibly bright and vibrant. Also here is Honed Steel, which is really just a very dark metallic gray. And here is Viper Green. And moving on to the last paint, which is also in the Master Series, it is a pale saffron, which is kind of a pale yellow. And I'm actually quite baffled about the kit because they did not contain any kind of very vibrant red at all. The closest thing that you have is a harvest brown. But anyways, moving on. Here we have the two paint brushes contained within the kit. One of them's a little bit fatter than the other, but they're actually fairly decent quality. Um, they're not the highest grade um, uh, paint brushes I've seen, but uh, they're decent and nice backup brushes if you need them, and enough to get you started, which is really what you're looking for in this kit. Here, I'll let you get a closer look at them here. As you can see, you got the one fat tip right there, and here is the thin tip with a little plastic uh, protector on the top there. All right, so now taking a closer look at the minis themselves, here's the fighter. As you can see, the sword is a little bit bent, but the detail on this is just amazing. Also here is the orc. This one is also an amazingly detailed little bones figure. It really is stunning how detailed these bone figures can get. And last but not least is the skeleton. It is a little bit warped looking, but I'm hoping with a little bit of boiling water, it will reshape quite nicely. All right, everybody, that pretty much wraps up everything inside of the Reaper Bones Learn to Paint kit. I'm actually working on the orc from the kit as we speak, and I think I'm actually doing a decent job given that it's my first Reaper Bones mini. And you can watch that video on this channel in the near future. All that you have to do is subscribe. I will also be doing some videos on the fantasy and RPG genres. So if those are some things that you are into, also make sure that you are subscribed. And with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. Watching, and I will see you next time.